Okay, hello everybody. We have something new. What is it? It's a mixer and a mixer is always a little bit boring, but it's a very important. This mixer is a mixer of Ginkgo Synthese. It's the one of Jan Willem. It's from The Haag uh, from Holland. And uh, what is it? It's uh, just uh, uh, three inputs and one output mixer. But it's special. It has this little switch over here that says gain. And gain means that you can have it uh, much harder in one time, but really much harder. That you can really using this uh, contact mics or this kind of uh, stuff, uh, like bit sniffers or uh, yeah, to have uh, more power. Also, of course, if you have a, a lot of uh, models that are a little bit less in power, you can power it up and spice it up with this one. So if you want to jam with your Volca bass in here, because modeler is always much harder, you can do the gain uh, hard and then you can uh, tune it that it's the same level of audio rate. Okay, uh, I will turn out the ga gain and uh, that you can listen to some differences. I will turn just the waveform uh, in one time straight, like you hear now. That's a maximum. Now I turn on the gain. So it preempts the power very hard. It preempts the power of all three of them, so all outputs. Then you're thinking, why is it not like that you can do this one soft and this one hard? I also thought about it, but actually it's not so bad because they are really small and cheap. So you can just buy another one, put it next to here and use the normal one. And then you can play a little bit with it. So it's not a big issue. What I will do, I will turn out uh, a bit sniffer and that you can hear the differences. Uh, how many input the gain has on uh, external gear. So, this is the bit sniffer that needs always a little bit of preamp to have some sound. I need my telephone a screen, so I put this on my screen, but you cannot see it because I'm filming it. But I, you can hear it. You hear this. Shh. Not now. And now you hear it. So with gain, you hear it really easy. Without gain. Without gain, this is the max that you can get. Again, this is the max. You remember how the swords of uh, Star Wars work with the lightning uh, swords that they're fighting. I know that George Lucas using this system like this kind of feedback in a microphone. And feedback can be really interesting, interesting sound. But even if you have the lullaby model of other instruments, it also works really good if you can add some gain or not. It doesn't need it, but it's always good. It's really hard now. You can hear every movement. Even if I put my finger on there. Like these contact mics, how they're working uh, these days. Uh, contact mics. This is just a regular one with the gain of. Contact mic without gain. with gain so 
you can do a lot more in your <coughs> setup now. If you do your contact mic in, let's say, the acid delay. Oh, you go from the acid delay to the mixer. What is gained? It's much harder. Without gain, without gain, this is the max. With gain, yeah. So yeah, I just want to show with this because it's a handy tool and it's I think 60 euro or something, and you have really uh, the build quality is really good. Uh, it's aluminium plate. It's in the style of everything else from Ginkgo like this. Um, uh, aluminium like these grains it's almost the same also the same size as the grains uh, yeah what can I say about it I like it I just want to have let's say a whole raw of it so I want to have three I think three three mixers then I can put uh, one really high for the pickup mics and the normal oscillators can go in a normal one and I can play with those three in the other one uh, what I want to do with it so I think I'm going to do it like this I want to thank you for watching. Okay, bye-bye. If you have questions, you can mail me or call me. My number is on the front page of the website. Ciao.